Le Mans Ultimate has the potential to be one hell of a sim as long as it covers these two and a half points. In a few days time, Le Mans Ultimate will drop into early access. A controversial title coming from the Motorsport Games camp, the game has seemingly tried to distance itself from its publisher and maybe rightly so. However, one cannot deny that Le Mans Ultimate could be the sim racing title release of the year. Building on top of the widely regarded best driving experience sim of R Factor 2 and bringing a fully licensed WEC sim title to a market where the WEC is perhaps at its most popular in modern times and when the last time it had a good game was in the PlayStation 1 slash 2 days. It certainly got one hell of a foundation to build upon. Let me know in the comments down below which car you are most excited to jump into. Entering early access on Tuesday the 20th of February, here's what the latest news release had to say about this initial early access release. The title will feature all of the cars and circuits from the memorable 2023 centenary year showcasing the exciting arrival of the revered hypercars from that season. Cadillac, Ferrari, Glickenhaus, Peugeot, Porsche, Toyota and Van Wall developed with extensive manufacturer, su manufacturer support all feature in the PC based game. Players will experience the thrill of piloting iconic cars at spectacular laser scan circuits with Sebring, Portobello, Spa, Monza, Fuji, Bahrain and the legendary Circuit de la Sarf in Le Mans all featured in the metec meticulous detail that Studio 397 are famed for. Motorsport fans can start their Le Mans Ultimate journey through either online events powered by the latest version of Race Control coming to Le Mans Ultimate or single player race weekend. This offers the chance to test drive the exotic machinery, refine your car setup and learn the circuits whilst formulating your own race weekend, taking part in practice, qualifying and the main race. Users will be able to adjust the time of day, session duration and weather conditions to their liking before racing against best-in-class AI drivers. For those seeking thrilling wheel-to-wheel -wheel competition against players the world over, online multiplayer will offer an exhilarating challenge. From launch, players will be able to take part in ranked daily races that pair you with similarly skilled drivers. These races run regularly throughout the day and will provide the opportunity to build the player's driver and safety ranking. In time, your rank will offer up further opportunities for higher ranked races and exclusive events. So, with what's been said from Studio 397, it sounds super promising even in its early access state. However, given the reputation of the publisher and the history of the studio being somewhat mismanaged and the priority of developments being a little bit strange for a modern piece of software, here are my two and a bit things that I feel are essentially all this new title will need to do to be a success in 2024 and get a decent following of users. User interface is the first impression. R Factor 2 suffered for years, and many would argue to this day, of an ancient UI design philosophy that had no place in a modern platform. It took clunky to a whole new level, and even the redesigns seemed to be more polishing the proverbial brown, ma brown mass than actually redesigning the core elements to make a better design and improve on the user options the UI was given. Custom grids always being annoying to set up for example, awkward to use at best it was always a top complaint of the RF2 sim. RF2 is great once you get in the car but the path there was never the best. If Le Mans Ultimate has fixed this long standing complaint it will be well on its way given that first impressions are so rarely given a second chance. So making that UI usable, modern and easy to use would, well, one would hope, has been a top priority for Studio 397. 
online matchmaking and ease of use. Another one of the long-standing R Factor 2 platform issues has until very recently been the online element. Now in recent times they did add race control, their own matchmaking service, however some of the older issues still were present. From yellow cheese block cars, depending on when you loaded into a session, to the server setup being so outdated and behind closed doors, it might as well have been a part of the old Linux community. If you know, you are fine, and if you don't know, and if you ask, can I know, you're put down as being stupid for not knowing in the first place. Trying to play with friends was always an exercise in frustration, or for the less techie types, i.e. the majority, just not really possible outside of specific leagues and events. This has changed a bit with race control now being a thing, the in-house uh, online ranking and game system. Uh, so hopefully this is going to be carried over as mentioned by Studio 397. Hopefully improved upon still so that friends can rank up and grind up together in the virtual WEC series and have a blast doing it. And this is the most important part with ease. Two and a bit, not quite free. This isn't really a main point and ultimately I've already mentioned it. So it maybe it's something that should flow through the other things. But the last thing I'd like to see is the ease of tech support and the all important, if this doesn't work, how do I fix it? Question mark. RF2 has lots of issues in this area, with documentation often being woefully out of date, a, mis a mishmash of different versions, or simply not existing. The problem solving with RF2 can be such a massive lesson in frustration. I am hopeful that should I or my friends encounter issues with Le Mans Ultimate, it will be easy if not to fix, then at least have a nice system in which the issue can be looked at and acknowledged. Maybe make the classic RF2 platform issue of inverting your steering wheel a little easier to fix than having to go to edit files buried in directories. So with the game sounding as good as this, Let's hope for the sake of us simmers and WEC fans that Le Mans Ultimate has a great early access launch. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see and if you are watching this whilst the sim is in early access, let us know how you are getting on. Like and subscribe of course is appreciated. Thank you for taking some time out of your day today to listen to me ramble on. If you want to see or hear more of my random thoughts of a game designer as I play casual sim racer check out the other videos on screen now and i will see you hopefully in a future video bye bye